Hey everyone, Axel here from Axel Azuli Entertainment, and welcome to Axel's Equestrian Reviews, where today we will be reviewing My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, Season 1, Episode 10, The Swarm of the Century. Brief plot synapsis. It starts out with Fluttersigh collecting flowers for uh, uh, Celestia's arrival in Ponyville because Celestia is coming to Ponyville and everyone's getting prepared. During this, Fluttersigh finds a strange spherical creature that's extremely adorable, which he takes with her and shows to her friends, but it starts to multiply out of control until Ponyville is completely overrun with these creatures and nobody knows how to stop it. And while all this is going on, uh, Pinkie Pie is constantly asking if, the, if any of the main six know where instruments are, and all the main six are ignoring her, saying to help out and stop just doing random stuff. But in the end, it turns out that Rare, uh, not Rarity, Pinkie Pie was right all along getting the instruments, and that her friends should have listened to her because the instruments were the key to getting rid of the Paris sprites. And the moral, of course, is listen to your friends. Uh, you never know when your friend's going to know the answer to a problem, and you're just not listening to them. So, of course, that's how it goes. Now, when I started doing Axel's Question of Views, I was uh, looking back on Season 1 and thinking about all the episodes, and I thought to myself, I remember my uh, one of my favorites being Swarm of the Century, but I couldn't quite think why. I thought and thought and thought, and then I just decided to watch the episode, to see why. And this episode was pretty freaking hilarious. Uh, it's the only other episode other than Griffa on the Brush Off, which has personally made me laugh the entire episode through almost nonstop. I laughed at pretty much the entire thing. Now, there wasn't any super major moments in this episode. It was uh, mostly a bunch of minor moments that each made me laugh. Some of my favorite parts were like, uh, for example, uh, when... Uh, in the boutique, when Rarity's all trapped by all the Paris rights, Pinky bursts in. She's like, I'll save you! And she just walks over and grabs a flute uh, off the table and then walks away. And then Rarity just starts screaming. That part was uh, just comedy gold to me. That really got me. I almost fell off my chair laughing at that. That was hilarious. And also, another point that really was really great for me was in when she, when Twilight Sparkle went to go see Zakora, which, first of all, it really surprised me that they were already reintroducing Zakora after being introduced the episode prior. That's like the fastest a minor per character has been brought back. Uh, <laughs> I loved it when she was like, oh, Paris Brights? Uh, well, you're screwed, basically. And I was just like, okay, if Zakora can't figure this out, I think Ponyville may actually be screwed. Then it brings up the issue of Pinkie Pie being right in the end. So, many people at the, uh, during this episode thought Pinkie Pie was just being random for the sake of being random. Especially the person I watched, San in 1995, who is still my favorite commentator. His commentary was absolutely hilarious on the, this episode. It was just laugh out loud funny. I really enjoyed his commentary in this one. But back to the point. Uh, so, I, when I first watched this, I thought to myself, when I watched it several years ago, like a year ago, and I thought, well, Pinkie Pie, uh, uh, was misunderstood, but she didn't give any hint to the fact that she was actually trying to help, so it was still kind of Pinkie Pie's th fault. But, while re-watching the episode, I realized that about halfway through the episode, D she did reveal that she ha was trying to help out, and that nobody did listen to her. So it wasn't entirely Pinkie Pie's thought, uh, fault. She could have been more vocal in the beginning, but she certainly, uh, they certainly should have, li uh, she certain, uh, the other people should have certainly listened to her better. And so that's a whole moral dilemma right there. So uh, who was the one the wrong? Pinkie Pie didn't vocalize it loud enough at the beginning, and then everyone thought she was crazy, or the fact that her friends didn't listen to her. That's a pretty complicated decision. But taking this all into consideration, you may still be asking, Axel, why, uh, why do you say that this is like one of your favorite episodes of season one? You said there was something special about this episode, and uh, you couldn't remember what it is. Well, luckily for you, I did remember what it is. So, basically, I want you to see my reaction to what happened the first time I ever watched this episode.
As you can see, I absolutely love that song, and I certainly do have the moves like Jagger. I'd have to say that that's my second favorite song in all of MLP every episode, except for the Flim Flam Brothers song. I could listen to that thing for hours if I'm in the mood. Uh, that yeah, I just love that song, and I love just jamming out to it. It's an awesome song. But now it's time to get down to the serious business. What do I rate this episode? Now, in a surprising turn of events... It is getting the rating of 5 out of 5 stars. And you may be wondering why. Well, this episode was comedic gold. A lot of the times I'd look into the philosophy of the episode to get part of my rating, but not I'm not really doing that as much in Season 1, because in Season 1, the show was still... Uh, had a girl, a young girl demographic, meaning that they weren't trying to make anything, like, super deep. That uh, the deepness didn't really come until, like, the end of Season 2, beginning of Season 3, when it really started to be less simple and more psychologically and uh, physiologically challenging. So, at this point, it's mostly about the comedy. In this episode, I was laughing the entire time. I don't know if it's because I'm recording this really late at night and I'm delirious, or if it's a really good episode. But you tell me. Leave a comment in the section below to tell me what you thought of this episode. Was I right? Was I wrong? Did I? Eh, is this episode as good as I say? Do you enjoy this song as much as I do? Am I ridiculous for liking this song so much? I don't know. That's what you're here for. So next time we'll be reviewing uh, Season 1, Episode 11, which I can't wait for. And until next time... I'm Axel, from Axel's Equestrian Reviews, and goodbye!